Well, an explosive night for Broadway's biggest stars. Wasn't that performance amazing? The Tony Awards aired right here at WUSA 9. We know you watched it too. Montgomery County native Miles Frost took on the challenge to play Michael Jackson on Broadway in MJ the Musical. And that challenge tonight, it paid off big. He won a Tony Award for lead actor in a musical. Our Lorenzo Hall recently sat down with some of his mentors and professors at Bowie State University who helped nurture and launch this young man's career. How do I know Miles Frost? When Maggie Francois talks about Miles Frost, oh gosh. <laughs> You can see and feel the joy inside of her heart. Miles is like a light that was actually brought into my life um, through his mom. His mom and I are like sisters, basically. And I just became auntie and like a second mom, actually. And ever since then, we've been like glue. But don't stop. Looking good, everybody. Keep the 22-year-old sensation was the favorite pick for best lead actor in the smash hit MJ the Musical. He landed the part after producers spotted this video of Miles performing Billie Jean back when he was a junior at Wooten High School in Rockville, Maryland. I still love him, I it's an honor and journey Maggie is still trying to wrap her head around. Because I'm actually watching him go from everything he worked hard for to a Tony nomination. Like, how good is that? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what to say. It's just incredible to be part of his journey. No Just seeing the movements, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's surreal for me. It's been a ride that I've never seen coming. <laughs> and a big part of his ride involves Bowie State University. It's where Maggie teaches fashion design. And Miles studied music and technology. But I think when he hit Bowie State, that light popped in. And he was just so um, motivated by the students. They were motivated by him. He was doing so much more. And then be being around family and his friends, I think really sparked something in him as well. And this is home, yeah. Professor Dr. Gilbert Pryor taught Miles music and tech. His mission here was just to do his music. He was a, he's a music producer. You never know what, what personality is sitting in front of you when you teach as a teacher, as a professor. I never know. When you look at him, you don't know the kind of magic that's inside of him. I didn't even realize how much of a renaissance man this young man is. Dr. Teodros really Williams is the chairperson of Fine and Performing Arts at BSU. Miles is a multi-talented uh, artist, I, and I'm putting that in the plural sense because he's a musician, he's, a, he's an, a composer, he's an arranger, he's a dancer, he's an actor. So I'm trying to put him in one sentence. That's really, really hard to do. So let's go ahead and bring Brother Miles Ross up. Hey, 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 boo, We did BSU Does Broadway. Uh, hey, 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 boo, hey. We took two bus, uh, bus loads of students and, and also uh, donors uh, to go see the musical and had a chance to have a little talk back with Miles. And, um, and I did a little short interview with Miles afterwards. So it was just phenomenal just to be able to take the students and uh, let them witness you know, one of their classmates, one of their fellow Bulldogs. And so it was wonderful. Infinite possibilities with this young man. The best is yet to come. That's all I can say. Stay tuned. 22 years old and his star is rising. We want to congratulate Miles and his family on this huge accomplishment. We are so incredibly proud. We're going to claim you even though, you know, you're now a Broadway star. We're claiming you as our own and we are wishing you well on your journey.